From New York City, it is baseball night in America. Welcome to June and welcome to the Bronx and Yankees Stadium as the Red Sox and Yankees get together for the latest edition of this rivalry moving forward. So it's Betts at the top and then Andrew Benintendi slides down into the two spot. Martinez endeavors with Bogarts in short. This is Domingo Herman, 26 years old, who won a spot in the rotation because of injuries. And all he's done, John, is go 9 and 1 to lead the majors so far. Stretch here in June. Betts starting things off and hitting a high line drive to center field for Aaron Hicks. One gone here in the first. 2 2. Got him swinging. That's that curveball of Domingo Herman. Two up, two down here in the first. Back up that two seam fastball. Payoff to Martinez is down and away. Good take by Martinez and a two out walk. 0 oh, 2. Scored his first inning for Domingo Herman. Striking out Benintendi and Devers. And the Yankees come to bat for the first time against Rick Porcello. Me, who's been a spark plug at the top. Then Voigt and Hicks with Sanchez tied for the league lead in homers. Torres and Morales in the middle of the order with Porcello, who over his first three starts had an ERA above 11, but he's been their most consistent starter since that bumpy beginning. Yeah, he has. And uh, more conviction behind his pitches. Pokes this one on the ground to Brock Holt at second. One gone here in the first. The Red Sox has been an issue since Dustin Pedroia. He's going to beat the shift here. Opposite field hit for Luke Voigt. Aaron Hicks missed the first month and a half. Hits a fly ball on the left field that sends Ben Intendi back. Yeah, and he'll catch it for out number two. Well, Sanchez missed time. There are other guys that have returned for the 26 year old in his fourth season but he chases a slider here and the scouting report holds true in the previous matchups against Porcello. They're telling you spin the break ball as much as possible. Bogarts reaches out yanks on the left center field for a leadoff hit. First hit of the game comes from Xander Bogarts for Boston. Issues as well. Yeah and then lingering vertigo coming from that. Lost one into right back to back hits for the Red Sox to open this second. Well, for Domingo, he has gone through. On one, two, he does, and it works. Swings and misses at the end. One gone second inning, and on a one, two, Bradley strikes out. And so back to back K's for Domingo Herman after the back to back hits open the frames. Tight spinning breaking. Sandy Leon with a base hit up the middle. And it's the Boston catcher and they're mostly because of his relationship with Rick Porcello providing the first offense of the game with a two out RBI single wild card was around a 2 2 that's tries to check but went around and he knew it Herman able to limit the damage to one not as easy leading off this second taking a fastball the other way right center field in deep Bradley turns and watches it bang off the wall. Holds him to a single, playing the ricochet perfectly. A single off of the wall for Glaber Torres to open the second. 2-2. Two, two. Uh, it's down the line, a base hit for Morales as he went back to the fence wall. It scoots by Betts. Torres will stop at third. It's another long single, and the Yankees have him cornered with nobody out. Drops over the inside corner to get him, one gone. That is such a tough pitch. Duel, hitting and defense. Base hit to tie the game. Urshela comes through again, and it's 1 1 in the second. The minor league system last August decided to re sign with them on a minor league deal. Gardner sneaks one to the right side to load him up. Morales does not run well. He stopped at third. And the bases are loaded for D.J. LeMay. The approach of the hitter. Up the middle. Past the diving Bogarts in the center. A two-run single for D.J. LeMay who gives the Yankees their first lead tonight. It's going to go way, way up for the opposing pitchers. Strike three on a generous outside corner and Void is out number two. Two on two out. Hicks drives the ball to left center field. Bradley races over to catch it. 
And that does it for the Yankees. They get three to take the lead here in the second. That is correct. So we think there'll be about 500. Then attendee down on strikes. So if you pledge a dollar, that's 500. Look, and you're a public person, and they see you back working. Well, that's a good commentary for uh, getting a checkup. Guys, it's always an exciting time to get one on that just bulldozing. On the ground left side, cut off by Devers. Sets his feet, throws him out. And right now, just two games back of New York opening tonight. Chopper to third, Devers again. Well, this year is going to have a lot of movement, I believe, uh, even though the trade deadline opens is up this fourth inning and waits on this 1 1. Swings away, sends a high drive to left field. That one is gone. And Xander Bogart's big 2019 continues with a leadoff home run here in the fourth. He will not miss middle end. And that's pretty much where I think that pitch was. Every once in a while. Holt hits it hard on the ground, past the diving LeMayhew. And back to back hits to open the fourth inning for Boston. Me giving him the opportunity to learn, I guess. There goes Holt on a 3 2. It's a walk for Chavis, and they're at first and second with nobody out. Here's the 1 2. Got him swinging. 8K for Domingo Herman with Chad Green warming a 3 2 pitch coming to Sandy Leone. Sliced over short of base hit into left center. Leone's second run driven in tonight ties the game as Brock Holt steps on home and Sandy Leone comes through again at the bottom of the lineup. Hunters at first and second, one gone in a tie game in the fourth, and Betts gets under this one. LeMahieu with the infield fly ribbon effect makes the catch and bets is out number two. Lead Aaron Boone to go into Chad Green. Two on, two out, and Green to Ben Intendi with the first one. Swings away, slices one in the air to center, but Hicks is there. And that's that for the Red Sox in the fourth. But they get two to tie it and chase Domingo Herman from the game. On 2 2, Frazier swings and misses, and Porcello sits him down for the first out of the fourth. To win one and knock off that stretch. It's hard to believe it's been, what, 32, 31? Back to 88. That's yeah, 31 years. And he pokes the first pitch to right for a leadoff hit. They need him to get going again and be that JD kind of. Well, Chad Green has been out there throwing two pitches. They've both been hit line drives. Oh, one pitch. Bogart swats one down the line. That's his third hit tonight. It gets to the wall. It's played by Frazier. Martinez is at third and a ringing double from Xander Bogarts. And the Red Sox have him at second and third with one gone. One and two. Green comes back home and Holt strikes out in a high fastball. A big K for Chad Green and two gone in the fifth. Green sticks with it and gets it by him. Bullies his way out of trouble with back to back K's to keep it tight at three. He's a pitcher at all. And what I mean by flat ground, Voigt base it to center. Is I mean pitching to a guy squatting on the sideline is not flat yeah. ground. Uh, you lose feel. That's cute off the end of the bat. A little spinner that'll test Devers' arm. It's good enough to get hits. 19.53. On a 2 2 pitch. Sends this one the other way. Bradley and Betts back. That ball is gone. Opposite field home run for Gary Sanchez to put the Yankees back in front. Bangs a base hit to right. Second hit tonight for Morales. I thought Betts had a chance at him at first. Seemed to have it rolling in the third and the fourth. He was perfect in those two innings, but the Yankees jump on him here in the fifth and chase him from this game. To get to a 3 2 count or the count where he hit the slider for the two run home. Here's a 1 2 pitch. Uh, comes up and hits Frazier. 
So Walden loses him, and the bases are loaded. Here with the bases loaded in the fifth on 2 1. He hits a ground ball to third that Devers will throw across just in time. Part of this bullpen that's been one of the best in baseball as they had planned. They put it together that way. Back until they're fully ready. Bradley down swinging to open the six. A few weeks long now where they're below 500 again. Leon on the ground. Knocked down by Voigt. From his knees decides to hold on to it. And Leon's aboard for the third time tonight. The year, even despite their players. They've... That's an opposite field hit for Betts. First hit of the night for Mookie. Two on with one out. And on a 1 1, Benintendi. It's a fly ball to center field. Plenty of room for hits. Two on. A long, kind of unorthodox, low three quarter delivery. Beautiful slider to get Martinez swinging. And Adovino is out of the gym in the six. 30 year old in his ninth season takes strike three over the inside corner two gone in the six but the Yankees have righted the ship Voight muscles one right center and fights that off for a base hit his third of the night and more importantly you know taking advantage of the situation Voight runs with a pitch here it comes pounded into the ground and Chavis has it he'll feed Walden who pitches a score of sixth inning. And from New York City on Baseball Night in America. I mean, he has to be a pitcher with that name, and he has to be a reliever. Right. Good eight win season. On a one two pitch, Bogarts hits a fly ball to deep center field, but picks a circle around it. Two up. Time for another game break with Kevin Burke. We're used to championships every three or four months. Perfectly placed. One, two, three inning for Jonathan Holder. Stretch is growing into. Incredible big leaguer here for the Yankees. Although they had their questions last year. They did off the seventh against Brandon Workman, who's one two, is hit sky high to left. That goes Devers. On comes Benintendi, and it's Devers to make a catch on a difficult play up against the sidewall. A three two again. And a strikeout, two gone. So the Houston Astros. They're looking for a one two three seven. He could have it. Oh, he got him. Oh, oh my gosh. Chavis wasn't ready for Betts' throw. That's the second time Betts came up throwing, and Chavis, who's not really used to playing that position, swings and misses at a sharp breaking ball from Workman that brings his seventh inning to a close. Chose to never swing. I don't know how many strikes Zach Britton would throw, but that tells you how much his ball moves. A 2 2 and Chavis strikes out on a pitch that sinks its way right below the knees. I'm telling you, 80 to 80, 90 percent of them are, are going Game to. Game inning. Britain home with a 3 1. Nunez watches ball four, and they do get the tie and run to the plate. Here's his 1 2. Bounce to second. LeMahieu, Torres, double play. To the bottom of the eighth, the Yankees five, Red Sox three. Three game, Matt Barnes, who's been the top man out of Boston's bullpen, tries to keep it that way. Night, for the most part, to lock you down. Urshela down on strikes. There are a couple of guys you might have heard of available out there. One starter. Comes back to get him. Two out. LeMahieu on the first pitch, smacks it to Nunez. And a one, two, three, eight inning for Barnes. Let's see if Boston has some magic in him. Down 5 3 to the ninth in the Bronx. Two left handers. One power sinker. This is just a power fastball. Downhill, athletic. Mookie starting the ninth for Boston with a walk. And the Red Sox get the tie and run to the play. 2 1 pitch. Ground ball, base hit into right. First and second, nobody out for Boston here in the nine. The 1 0. Line drive on a bounce to short. There's one and two. A double play puts Chapman and the Yankees on the doorstep. He's the last hope for Boston. And a two run game in the nine. 
Ground ball to first that Luke Voigt grabs and feeds Chapman and the Yankees hold on 5-3. They've taken the first two of the series. They've won their ninth consecutive series and they've dropped the Boston Red Sox to nine and a half games back on June 1st. Yeah, hard to.